guys, so today's video is a little bit different. I recently went to Japan and I bought a whole bunch of clothes from Japanese thrift stores. I've already made two videos, they are these ones here. So I did the shopping video goodbye, showing you guys shopping for thrift store clothes in Japan. And then when I got home back to Australia, I made another video where I went through every single item that I bought while I was thrifting in Japan. Today's video is my full week where I only wore clothes from Japanese thrift stores while I was on my trip. I took an empty suitcase with me, I bought a whole bunch of clothes from thrift stores, and that's all I wore for the entire time that I was in Japan. So I documented my whole trip basically, or at least the, the week that I was wearing the thrift clothes. So this is kind of like a vlog. I don't really talk in depth about the clothing because I did make those other two videos. So if you want to know a little bit more about the clothes themselves, head over to the other videos that I made. But as for this video, sit back, relax, and enjoy the documentation of my time in Japan. Okay guys, we've arrived in Harajuku. This is the famous Takashita Street behind me. There's a lot of people down there, there's a very big crowd. But this outfit is perfect for the occasion. It is a very Harajuku style outfit. So I'm very happy with the thrift store so far. Queen! I have no idea how to eat this. Oh my god, it's so heavy. So I believe that it's like croutons, you know, like little bread cubes and then just cheese on the inside. That's what I think. <laughs> Anyone that's been watching my channel for a while might remember that I tried to get one of these last year and then it closed, like as soon as I arrived, they shut and I didn't get my chance. So finally I'm going to get one. I always thought that it was the store downstairs, but it's not, it's from upstairs. <laughs> that's deceptive because all the rainbows are down there. But it smells like cotton candy oh up God, here. It smells incredible. Santa Monica crepes. Everyone stands in front of it and gets an Instagram photo, but there's too many people, so I'm gonna come back at like 5 a.m. and try and get one up when there's no one around. It's the size of your head, woman. Something that people always forget when they come to Harajuku, like they look at the Takashita Street and then they leave because they think that's it. But I highly recommend that you look through all of the side streets. Like we just wandered and we took an alleyway turn and another alleyway turn and there's these beautiful streets with trees and like awesome stores. So uh, we came all the way here specifically for the staircase. This is the store called the Opening Ceremony. It's like a kind of an expensive store that sells designer clothes. But look at this staircase. Is this not the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? Come, come down here, join me on a pastel adventure. When I build a house one day, I want it to look like this. You know how Jeffree Star has that wall with like quilted fabric? Uh-uh, nah. No. I want pastel pink and lilac stripes and spots. Thank you very much. <laughs> so I'm here with Abby and Cody, uh, subscribers that found us in the Shibuya Starbucks. So this is the Shibuya crossing there. And they found me. Abby actually just sent me a message on Instagram and I just saw it. And I was gonna go through and reply to my messages. And then she found me anyway, so it worked out the best. Abby, that's so cute! Yeah, you look so beautiful. Your eyelashes are amazing. Thank you. Yeah, and we have a cinnamon roll shirt. 
Department Depot. And this is from the Pokemon Center. Cody, you got to put the Pokemon Center in which one was it? It was in Sky Tree. The Sky Tree. Okay, so we're going to go there for sure. It's so good to meet you guys. Thank you so much. You too. Because that's me. If you are in Shinjuku, I highly recommend that you go to this Kushiage restaurant. Then you'll see the sign, Shinjuku Tohoho building, and there's a tunnel. And you walk through this tunnel here, and see this restaurant here that's got like orange on the top? This is a Kushiage restaurant. So Kushiage is like fried, fried food on a stick called Kushia. Monogotari. Just Google it and find your nearest one because it's really tasty. It's a little bit expensive, but it's totally worth it. <laughs> So I've brought Tiasha to this restaurant specifically for one very, very selfish reason. <laughs> These f***ing chicken meatballs. I dream about these. They haunt me in my sleep. I see them in my sleep paralysis and I embrace them with open, paralyzed arms. These these chicken meatballs are the most delicious thing ever and I highly recommend them. And if you come to this restaurant and you're tempted to try some of the other food that's on the table over there, you know, you're picking all your skewers and you're choosing what you're gonna have, just forget about everything. Just have the chicken meatballs. <laughs> that's all you need in your life. My precious. You know, Valentine's Day, this is the bouquet that I want. <laughs> When you get off the train at Miyajimaguchi, all you have to do is come through the gates, look straight ahead of you, and you just walk in a straight line. You literally, we're just going all the way down there. That is the Miyajimaguchi ferry terminal. So you just have to go straight down there. There's signs everywhere that say to Miyajima Island, and then you show them your JR pass if you have one, and the JR pass gets you onto the ferry and takes you straight across. So let's do it. We're at our Ryokan now. It's absolutely stunning. I do love the view. That's why I keep coming back because it's just so beautiful and pristine and there's all the greenery and the beautiful tiles of the traditional roofs and the room is stunning. A little bit hot. And definitely wearing this because, you know, like I said, guys, it's summer. So I'm wearing these long sleeves, my, my thrifted long sleeves and my thrifted dress. A little tiny bit warm. I could always take the this thing off and just wear this, but then that ruins the fashion of it. This outfit is definitely a success. I think it's a, a perfect outfit to wear to a beautiful, quiet, quirky little Japanese island. And uh, from memory, I think that this one was maybe $5. And I think that this one was $7. So my maths is failing. $12 for this outfit. Not too bad. Once again, Japanese thrift stores are getting the thumbs up from me. So now I'm gonna take this outfit we're gonna watch the sunset at the Itsukushima Shrine and we're gonna do some exploring tomorrow as well and I have an even better outfit for tomorrow and I'm very excited. So with that, I'll insert some stock vlogging footage here and I'll see you tomorrow.
Yummy. Most delicious oyster in the world, as far as I'm concerned. Look at this. Can you uh, zoom in nice and close? Good? Oh my god. Oh my god. It's like nothing else. So you've never had, Tiasha's never had oyster. Is he floating? I'm not gonna lie, this looks really gross. Gross? What did you expect? I don't know, it looks like a big snuffle. Yeah. Mm. Okay, that's really good. You like it? Oh, Super god damn it. Soft. I was hoping you wouldn't like it. <laughs> So then I could eat it. Oh my god, a full worm. It's so good. Mm -hmm. Yay! Mama. One of the best parts of visiting Miyajima is if you can stay overnight, you end up being like the only person on the island because the tourists all clear out at about five or six o'clock. So we're here right now, I think it's six something. Look at the streets, empty, absolutely empty. It's just us and there's these beautiful lanterns hanging up behind us. Uh, we're going out to dinner. I just love it. It's like it's like a ghost town, but in the most ghibli way possible. <laughs> Stunning. Stunning. This place is changing my life. Look. <laughs> I can't believe that's deer poop. How does something so small come out of something so big? <laughs> In the cookies are buttercream and caramel. Honestly, that sounds too good to resist, so I'm gonna get one. Maybe, oh, look at this nice bright orange one. Oh, it's got my name all over it. Seven if run a little. <laughs> the thrift store outfit the only thing that isn't thrifted is the shoes because like I said monster feet and none of the sneakers that I picked up really suited me but we have this beautiful cat head handbag I believe this was ten dollars this top was one of the most expensive things that I got this was 30 but this is Esther loves Chew. now I know I probably could have got a brand new one in Harajuku for the same sort of price but I was suckered in and then the pants which were 15 so I think it's really nice and casual, super easy. We're going up the mountain. It's beautiful weather today. I was wearing a cherry jumper in the morning, but I decided, uh, no, I was gonna roast to death on this island if I kept wearing that. I looked cute for a total of five minutes until I took it off, but that jumper was $15. So this has been a great success so far. I'm gonna show you around Miyajima a little bit more, and then we're heading off to the island of Naoshima, which is the art island, and there's lots of sculptures and, uh, that's gonna be a great day, and the weather is perfect for us too. So just, just look at this scenery.
guys, what have no, you no, done no, no. again? Melting on my pants. Okay, so we've just arrived on the island of, oh uh, no, no wait, this isn't even the island yet. Oh my god. We've arrived at the train station that'll take us to the island of Naoshima, and this suitcase is so heavy. There's probably no taxis, it's a very small island. So I'm going to leave this big suitcase here, and I'm just going to get out tomorrow as well. I have a very, very special outfit for tomorrow, but I'm really concerned that I'm not going to be able to close this suitcase yet. I feel liberated without that 30 kilo suitcase. I'm free! <laughs> So we just got off the ferry at Honmura, which is the port here on Naoshima, and look behind me. It's a giant sculpture that kind of looks like grapes, or bubbles, I'm not entirely sure. But there should be sculptures all over the island, so we're gonna go check them out. So fun fact, this meal that I'm eating is called Oyakodon. Oya means parent, ko means child, don means like a rice bowl. So Oyakodon is literally parent and child rice bowl. It's chicken and egg rice bowl. That is so morbid, but also very accurate, very blunt, very to the point. So this was our accommodation last night. It is a Mongolian yurt. It's absolutely beautiful. These pillars here have really beautiful details all over them. Even the roof, every little pillar has a little bit of paint on it. It looks really beautiful. There's little ribbons sort of tie up in the ceiling. The beds were super comfortable as well. There's a fridge in here. So if you want to bring your own food from the mainland, you can stay, eat your own food. There's a whole bunch of yurts outside. They're in a big circle and it overlooks the ocean. There's a beautiful field of daisies off to one side. There's a little tire swing. I would stay for a couple of nights. We were just here for one day and we only saw such a small amount of the island. We saw some sculptures, we saw a museum, we were about to go to a second museum, but there's so much more to explore. So I would recommend you stay for a couple of days for sure. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I feel like an angel. So this is the outfit from Don Don Down on Wednesday in Shibuya. Now this is the one that I ripped straight off a mannequin and left her very uh, inappropriately naked in the very front of the store, so sorry about that. There wasn't a, a sound at all last night, just birds and animals running around. Today's outfit is this little sort of very, very soft 
negligee kind of kimono what do, you, what, what do you call this a gown yeah. we also have a corset now the corset was difficult to get into but now that I'm in it it's actually surprisingly comfortable I was worried that it would be very it was quite tight but it's really really cozy now that I'm wearing it and then of course the dress which can be worn off the shoulder as well and I think it looks really nice off the shoulder love that love that for me but obviously because it's under the kimono have to kind of wear it up like this what we have behind us is a pumpkin obviously uh, I believe that the artist is Yayoi Kusama I knew that I did <laughs> a fish just jumped out of the ocean that's the second time that's happened today Woo! again Yes. I have not been imagining that. Yeah, Tia should be like, I swear to God, a fish just jumped out of the ocean. So, uh, oh, look at him go! He like wants to He's be like caught. <laughs> <laughs> He's such a hoe. That's amazing. Today we're walking around Naoshima and we're looking at the art house project. So there's seven houses, they're just houses, they sort of blend in with all the other houses on the island. You need your little map to be able to find them, but they each have an installation of some sort in them. And you can't take pictures inside, so we can't show you, but we can show you the outside. So we've just come to our third place and this place is called Haisha. This is called an ugly faced fish. Chocolate frogs. This was $12 for this box, so this better be good. Oh my god! It's empty? It's a giant frog! <laughs> I didn't realize. I thought that it was like a little box full of. Look at this bad boy. He's huge! Oh my god, Tiasha. This is gonna melt in like five minutes. Is that just pure just chocolate? One single chocolate frog. What's on earth? Look at him! Oh my god! Look at that! <laughs> He's home! Is he solid chocolate? He's solid. I thought he'd be hollow. Oh my god. Mm. It's so messy. <laughs> Impractical snack.
Alex, quick! <laughs> So I'm under very uh, strict instructions from Daniel that I had to pick up three more of these premium chalices because last year when we were here we got one and he's a little bit OCD about wanting a full set because when his friends come over and he's drinking out of wine and his friends drinking out of plastic cups or glass so he's like can you get three more? I just have to finish all this butterbeer now and then take the cups home for Daniel. Cheers! One down, two to go. at Universal Studios in Osaka. I've been here once before and I did a lot the first time that I came and this time was mostly for Harry Potter World, Butterbeer, a couple of crazy roller coasters and then just, you know, wandering around and seeing all the interesting sights. I'm wearing three thrifted items. So I've got the thrifted white t-shirt that was like six or seven dollars. I have the rip-off belt, this one, which was ten. And then when we went into Wego in Harajuku, we saw these for like $5. So I do feel slightly gypped about that. And then the shorts. Now these shorts are epic. They're so cool. They're really, really retro. They are from Lacoste. Uh, where, there he is. They were $30. And this one I was tossing and turning and umming and ahhing, but I've worn these all day today and I'm so glad that I spent $30 on them because they're amazing, they're comfortable, they're super stylish, they're kind of retro looking, very unique and uh, most importantly, for me at least, this is a great find. This is why thrift shopping is epic because you know you find things that like where am I ever going to find a pair of vintage Lacoste shorts? Look I couldn't be happier to be honest. Oh, he's chasing the phone. Archie. Archie, look. Look, it's Mama. Hello, baby. Hello, baby boy. Do you see me? Oh, hi. Hello, sweetie boy. We're doing a pottery class. There's a couple of uh, different courses that you can do. So this is called Biki Kobo. You can make original pots. So you can do option one, you can paint on pots like this and you can do your own designs. You can also do making pots with a manual wheel, which is like this little wheel that you spin yourself. It's a manual one. And then they also have electric wheels over there. So you can do making pots with an electric wheel and then they'll ship it back to you once they've made it. And this place is absolutely beautiful. It's at the base of Kiyomizu Dera, which is just up the hill there. Ooh, I'm so excited. I've always wanted to do a pottery class in Kyoto. It's been like one of my number one priorities, but usually you need a booking. But this place, you don't need a booking. You can just walk straight in. Fashion. <laughs>
So we're all finished now. Tiasha has covered hers in lots and lots of little beautiful stamps. Mine is a little bit more low key. We have a couple of little stamps and we have a tiny little bird, little tori in here. So you get to choose how you want to decorate it. They give you lots of little stamps that you can decorate with. And then at the end, you get to choose what colors that you want. So because Tiasha and I want sort of this type of design. So once they've fired it, they'll paint it for us. I'm going to have pink pink and blue like this one. Uh, Tiasha went for pink and green, which is a really, really nice combination. That's it. So we just wait one month and then they'll send these to us. They'll be all um, fired in the kiln and everything and then they'll be done. So now that we've finished this, we're going to explore Kiyomizu and then we're off to Osaka tonight. <laughs> Yay. The sign says no, but my fingers say yes. This is beautiful. I bet these are delicious. Oh wow. Aren't they amazing? This is just like unbelievable to me. Science has gone too far. Yes. This is insane. So inside his head is a little egg. Oh, oh yeah, wow. Is it sweet? It doesn't taste like a lot. Like I thought it would be really fishy or really seafoody, but it's just like, it just melts. It's just like essence of the sea melting on your tongue. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds quite nice. So we're at the Nishiki Fish Market in Kyoto. This is a really, really long strip of uh, different stalls. It goes, I don't know, like hundreds and hundreds of meters and there's all different stalls. They all have different specialties. So we decided to sit here. I've just tried sea urchin for the first time. Um, and also while we were sitting here, we noticed that there's these huge oysters in these buckets over here. And I'm thinking I might order a big one. The 1,200 12, yen one. Okay, ready to eat the biggest oyster I've seen in my entire life. Look at that bad boy. Okay, I don't know how I'm supposed to approach this. I don't know what I'm meant to do. Do we just like pick it up? I, I say pick it up and take a bite, but don't try to do the whole thing in one room. <laughs> Oi! Wow! Look at that! Oh wow, that's the saltiest thing I've eaten in my whole life. In like, a good way? Yeah, in the best fishy way possible. Mm. 
We're at Fushimi Inari Taisha. This is the beautiful, iconic walk that you see all over Instagram. All the travel bloggers hit it up immediately as soon as they come to Kyoto. I am in the vintage, I think this was called Antique, was the brand that we picked up from Don Don Down on Wednesday in Shibuya. Also, we have the 100 yen skirt as well from the thrift store in Koenji. So this is the last outfit of the week for a very, very beautiful but very, very hot day. I did take to Instagram earlier today and I said to everyone, should I wear the purple skirt or should I wear the brown one? It was tied. We had about 6,000 people voting for each. So I think that we're picking the brown because it's shorter and the purple one would have been way too hot. We're going to try and wrap things up here because of how hot it is. We'll catch you guys at the bottom of the gates up ahead. So if you're coming to Fushimi Inari and you want to get some pictures with the Tori gates but you don't want 10,000 tourists in the way, I discovered this tiny, tiny little uh, passageway here. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's just got nine of the gates and it leads up to a little shrine up here. So if you want to find this, all you have to do when you come out of the Tori gates, you just immediately look to the right and there's a little sign that says bathroom and you go down the stairs where the bathroom is and you turn left and you come around the corner there's no one else here you'll be the only person you can have the gates all to yourself and take some really beautiful photos and you can say a prayer while you're at it too so very happy that we found this <laughs> These girls walking around in kimonos, I don't know how they're doing it. It's so hot. The fabric just doesn't breathe at all in the slightest. I feel like I'm in a sauna right now. You look cute. Thank you. Cute but sweaty. <laughs> So this is Arushiyama, this is the bamboo grove. You can find this place just outside of Kyoto. It took us about 20 minutes on the train and then another 10 minute walk. Definitely worth a visit. It's not the longest stretch of bamboo. It, it really just, it kind of ends just where the light is up there. But standing here, you'd think that it goes on as far as the eye can see. There's a lot to see in this area too. There's heaps of temples and shrines and beautiful restaurants and street food. Definitely, definitely worth a visit, but it's very warm. This is the sort of place any time of the year you can come by. It's not like the cherry blossoms where it has to be in cherry blossom season. You can visit Arashiyama anytime. Definitely add it to your list when you come to Japan.
the best yakiniku ever. Ever. I've changed forever. Okay guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed that video. Sorry it's such a sudden ending, I didn't really prepare myself while I was in Japan for the video to come to an end. I really should have filmed an outro in a scenic location. But if you liked this video and you liked the style of video, please let me know because I do really enjoy travel content. I know lots of people are subscribed for haul videos, but I love Japan, I love studying Japanese, I love learning about Japanese culture, and I love photographing and videoing beautiful places in Japan. So if you want to see more videos like this, then give me a thumbs up to let me know, and uh, make sure that you check out some of my other videos about Japan. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Mwah!